and I'm leading the neural informatics group here at uh, Rotman Research Institute. Um, informatics is, is basically the science of storing and working with information related to neurological research. Uh, here we're talking primarily stroke research or understanding how the brain functions. Um, the way we would summarize what our group does is basically databases and pipelines. So a database, we're just seeking to bring in all of the information that's gathered that is related to stroke research. That may be scans taken from the MRI machine, it might be uh, EEG brainwave activity, um, it might be neurological assessments that are done by a clinician who has permission to, to share that information as the subject is, the patient has given it. Um, so we're seeking to bring both clinical data streams, so information from neurologists working with patients um, together with research data streams in order to create a, a fuller picture of exactly what happens in um, in a stroke. Where, where, how do strokes happen? To whom do they happen? Um, what are the end results? And, and how does a person progress uh, towards a greater state of health? And then seeking either greater understanding, ultimately leading to interventions or treatments um, along the way to reduce the chance of stroke, the severity of stroke, or to enable a person to recover um, more quickly and more thoroughly from the effects of stroke. That's what we're doing now then here we'll have complete pictures of people from potentially from before their stroke and, and understanding their, their health situation, um, their, their demographics, their, their medical state, right through to if that event occurs, when a stroke occurs, how did it affect them, how did it affect the brain, what are, what are scans showing um, how the, the, the brain le was lesioned, was, was damaged. Um, and then watching, you know, how does this particular type of therapy affect that person? How does it help their motor coordination? How does it help their ability to speak? Um, and then by gathering this information across thousands and thousands and thousands of subjects, we will gain a much better picture of what is stroke? How does it happen to people? To whom does it happen? How can it be prevented? How can it be, a how can it be um, limited in terms of its effect? And how can we help people in their recovery? Greatest contributors to the to the our work here in terms of neuroinformatics uh, has been through the Center of Stroke Recovery, uh, which is funded by the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Uh, this is a, a large research center um, based geographically at different research locations throughout Ontario, where you have people doing some very basic level science, where they're looking at how uh, low oxygen environments affects uh, genetics of small animals. Um, right through to how people are treated in emergency rooms through to how people are followed in terms of their rehabilitation over the years. So here you have this terrific center um, which is focused on, on, on understanding stroke at, at, its, at its broadest and deepest levels. Um, and we have had the privilege of, of working with them for several years now and all of these projects, many of them at the moment and hopefully all of them by the end, um, will be having data that comes into the neuroinformatics group here so that we can bring together data related to genes, so that we can bring together data related to um, uh, scans that were done in Ottawa for particular patients uh, who have agreed to participate. We can bring together data that, that's being gathered here at the, at the Rotman when a person's looking at a particular type of impact of a particular type of stroke.